Hello, my name is Dr. Val Sankar Smith and I'm an instructor with the Department of Psychology here at Queen's University. For millennia, man has wondered what goes on inside our skulls. And in the last 20 years, a lot of really neat technological advancements have allowed us to have a better understanding of the brain. And key to this new understanding comes from fMRI research. That's functional magnetic resonance imaging techniques. Basically, it works because as you're using your brain, certain areas are going to be more active than other areas. So with fMRI, what you see is an increase in blood flow to those areas, an increase in oxygen, and then the fMRI machine can pick up those changes in oxygen and allow us to see what areas of the brain are working when you're doing a particular activity or even thinking about a particular activity. So for example, if I'm looking at a picture, a visual area of my brain might light up versus if I'm listening to a sound, the auditory areas of my brain are going to light up. Obviously, the research possibilities for fMRI are endless. But what's interesting is that people are more and more trying to use this new technique in clinical applications. And in fact, there's a really neat um, organization, group of researchers who are using fMRI scans to work with patients in a vegetative state. These are patients who, after emerging from a coma, appear to be awake, but other than that, they have no outward awareness. So if you talk to them, they look at you blankly, and they don't respond in, in any sort of outward way. What's really interesting is that in 2006, Adrian Owen and his colleagues did a series of fMRI scans on these types of patients. What they found was that there were, are, are actually islands of preserved brain function. So even though a patient might not be able to respond to you, there's actually a lot more going on in their brain than meets the eye. So for example, with one patient, they asked her to imagine playing tennis. And the areas of her brain that lit up were those responsible for motor functions. And if you and I did the same thing, imagine that we were playing tennis, those exact same areas of the brain would light up. So this is a great example where someone on the surface looks like they A, don't understand, and B, can't respond, but in fact, with their brain activity, they're actually responding to researchers. And in, a few months ago, uh, the same group of researchers, Owen and colleagues, actually communicated with a Canadian man who'd been in a vegetative state for 12 years. He was actually able to let them know that he wasn't in any pain. Obviously, this has some great potential for patients with severe brain injuries. If they're able to communicate with doctors, they could participate in their care, their treatment, and even someday in their own recovery. This is just one great example of how recent technology like fMRI is helping us better understand the brain and in turn may help an entire patient population.